be a bowl season without players getting injured right before the season opener. I just, I don't even know what to say anymore, guys. I mean, it sounds like it isn't anything serious for Zach. We're talking one game, maybe two games, according to Shams. But for left knee management? I mean, we've heard of load management before, but left knee management? What the heck is that? Like, look, I know it's only the beginning of the season, but every game is so critical this year. We cannot have guys out even at the start of the season, especially our best players, just out because of left knee management. How do you have left knee management, load management in general, this early in the season? By the way, guys, apologies for the audio. Uh, I'm actually recording on my computer. I do not have my microphone because I'm out right now, but I had to share my thoughts on the matter. Anyway, the other thing that concerns me about this, because while, well, yes, we can just take a step back and say, hey, it's just a couple of games, likely doesn't mean anything. He might be experiencing some pain and they're just taking every precaution necessary. But what concerns me is the lack of transparency and clarity we got throughout the offseason regarding Lonzo Ball's injury. The Bulls very vague in saying he's progressing, albeit slow. And then we come to find later on that he's actually been unable to run, unable to jump, unable to do basic basketball activities. Now, the Bulls themselves may not have known the extent of all of that, but it doesn't really inspire a lot of confidence from us as fans as far as what the true status is is of the players. Like even for Zach, when it was announced yesterday by Casey Johnson that he was going to be questionable for the opener, that kind of came out of nowhere. Zach played the whole preseason, was a full participant in training camp, and all of a sudden, the Bulls aren't sure if he's going to be available for the first game. Now we know he's not going to be available and he might also be out for the second game. You know, I'd like to think that the Bulls aren't just downplaying this from something more serious and that I'm overreacting to this news. But again, the trust is a little shaken by everything that happened with Lonzo over the course of the offseason. Anyway, kind of a damper on the Bulls season opener, but you guys know I'm still excited. Bulls basketball is back. Probably going to be a loss tonight with no Zach and, of course, Lonzo as well. And the Bulls are also playing a good team on the road, but you never know. It just means other guys need to step up. Vooch looked great in the preseason. Need more of that. Going to be a critical night for him now stepping in as the second option and also going against Bam, who is a great defender. This is Vooch's time to shine, especially going up against some of the best bigs in the league. You got to show us that last season was an isolated incident. I am curious who the Bulls are going to insert into the starting lineup with Zach being out. Maybe we see Kobe get the start. Didn't think we would see Kobe in the starting lineup on opening night. Or they could move Io to the two and have Drogic start at point. Uh, the other option I actually like the most is having DeMar slide to the two, have Patrick Williams start at three, and have Javante come in at power forward. Gives you some added defense, some energy, and versatility on offense. I think that would be a good starting unit. Not as good as having Zach in, obviously, but a good alternative. I really just want to see Javante starting. I think he's earned it and has really uh, improved his game to where he can really be impactful on the court. Honestly, by the time you're listening to this, the starting lineup has likely already been announced, so this doesn't really mean anything other than just saying my preference. Anyway, guys, I'll have a live game chat for the game tonight. Don't forget to tune into the game at 5.30 Central. I'll also have a post-game video following the game. As always, be sure to subscribe if you're a Bulls fan, as I do post daily Bulls content. Thanks again for tuning in, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.